Uh, this is lesson number four uh, in our series on transformation, the ultimate surrender. And we contend that in order for us to get to know God better, and we, we're, we're going to symbolize this whole thing with an, uh, with an equal sign that says transformation equals transformation equals God. And that's where we all are going. And what is just what is God when we talk about uh, God? We always say God is love, God is peace, and God is uh, joy. God is everything. So when we say, and of course, more importantly, God just equals spirit. So if God is joy, God is peace, God is love, God is everything, and God equals uh, a, a spirit, then that's where we want to be. And, if, and you heard me talk about uh, the horizontal and the vertical. The vertical being uh, our spirit or God. And the vertical plane is from birth to death. And, of course, this is the horizontal plane. This is the time uh, capsule that we find ourselves in. So, so the whole idea is that we're on a continuum called life. Uh, and, and, and as human beings, this continuum has a finite amount of time. We travel in space and time. And our physical self will transition at some point in the future. Now, our message today is called Enjoying a Royal Workout. Let me give you our message in a nutshell. Our message in a nutshell is, is this. That in order to enjoy a royal workout, and up here we're going, up here we're going to call this, 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 this area right here. This is the God box. And we're going to have over here, this is Jesus. And down here is the human being. And as humans, uh, we, we, we want to be able to work out spiritually. And if we work out spiritually, we have to enter into the gate, which is known as Jesus. Jesus says, I am the gate, I am the door. And the sheep hear my voice and they follow me. And in this particular case, we are considered as sheep spiritually. And then, of course, we're able to move into the next level, which is where God is. But down here is what we want to be able to do as a result of working out. We want to be able to, to live. I, would call, I call it life or live. And also we want to be able to love, unconditional love, and we want to be able to laugh. These are the three elements of a, a, a real good workout. A real spiritual one. But how do we do that? How do we live life to the fullest? How do we enjoy uh, this workout? And at the, and at the first level, uh, in order to live, there has to be praise and thanksgiving. I say thankful. We also, uh, uh, second thing is love. Not just any love, but unconditional love. Unconditional love is loving in spite of love no matter what happens. And then, of course, we want to add uh, what I call laughter or laugh. And, of course, we know that the best medicine is laugh, if laughter. And laughter corrects a lot with, of what's going wrong or going on with us. Now, when you put all this into motion, when, you, when, you, when, you, when, you, when we start flowing, we move from this level, we follow Jesus Christ, we're changed at this level, and then we're able to uh, enjoy the fruits of the Spirit, which is royalty in Christ, and then we're able to do these things here. The challenge, of course, uh, is that we, uh, we uh, are not entering the royal gate or the royal door, uh, we, we have a tough time getting through this gate. 
And the reason we do is because we have a certain amount of ego that stands in our way. And our ego, our E-G-O, becomes the barrier. And what we have to do, we have to somehow get beyond our ego uh, and be able to enter through this gate, which is Jesus Christ. And, uh, and that means uh, uh, repentance. It also means uh, being born again. It also means, in most cases, uh, it means completely being transformed here. And this transformation, this change, is what allows us uh, to experience uh, God. But this change requires us to be willing to surrender to God. And that's this is where the biggest uh, challenge comes from. And of course, I contend that in order to uh, to surrender, in order to, for all this to happen, forgiveness has to come into place. We got to forgive one ourselves, and you may say, "What do I have to forgive myself for?" And of course, not being the best that we can be, not being able to turn to God as quickly as we should, carrying things around. Uh, with us from even childhood, low self-esteem, low self-worth. And then, of course, we got to be able to forgive others. And you'd be surprised how that becomes a barrier uh, to change, a barrier to transformation, because we cannot grow uh, beyond uh, uh, this feeling of resentment or anger or bitterness. Uh, and, and, of course, um, love allows uh, that to happen and also uh, living life to the fullest allows it to happen and so, certainly laughter allows that to happen. So, the, so our ultimate goal is to love unconditionally, to be at peace with ourselves and others, to experience the joy of the Lord that, I, that is our strength from birthday to birthday and all of this is when we're having what I call a real royal workout. We'll talk a little more about it in our next lesson. Our text for this particular lesson we want you to research is John 10 10. This is where uh, the, the thief comes by only to steal and kill and destroy, Jesus says. He says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I have come that you might have life in this verse and have it more abundantly, which is probably the verse that most of you are, are familiar with. So we enjoy a world workout by living, live, love, and laugh. And when we can do that, we can be happy. We want to end by saying, God has ordained that we enjoy his royal workout by living life to the fullest, by loving ourselves and others correctly, and laughing as much as possible. We can end by saying, it is so. And so it, it is. Amen. We'll see you in our next lesson.